building a better Bay Area. Moving forward, finding solutions. This is ABC 7 News. Have you tried to return a CRV container lately? Well, it's not always easy. Most of us just put them in the recycle bin and forget about them, but they are worth real money. Yeah, so when a change in the program was announced in San Francisco, 7 on your side's Michael Finney filed a report. Now he's back with an update for us. Michael. Well, after years of reporting on a troubled recycling program, it was really nice to report a positive story. So I thought it was time to check back in and see how that program is doing. California's CRV recycling effort has issues, and consumers feel ripped off. And it says on there, California cash refund, but I won't get my money back. So the state is allowing local areas to try out new recycling schemes. In San Francisco, when a mobile recycling program was announced, Seven on Your Side was there. We're going to have a truck, we're going to have a trailer, and we're going to pull up to locations in every supervisor district. Rather than go to a recycling center, the recycling center will come to you. Our report aired in February 2020. Here's how I wrapped things up. Now, there are many details to work out, and it could be a year before the whole thing really gets going. Well, it has been nearly twice that long now, so how is the program working? If you go to Cal Recycles website, you find a page devoted to the Beverage Container Recycling pilot program. San Francisco's mobile recycling is part of that. Scroll down the page. Existing pilot project increases convenience in 12 California cities. Keep scrolling. And you'll find a beauty shot of San Francisco's Pier 7 with the iconic Transamerica Pyramid in the background. The picture is captioned, San Francisco's pilot program. Multiple methods, including bag drop sites with later payment, mobile centers, and permanent recycling centers. Does that sound like it's all up and running? Well, look around. Do you see any mobile trucks? I asked Cal Recycle for an interview. The agency never agreed to an interview, writing in part, the mobile part of the San Francisco pilot project expects to launch in January 2022. Cal Recycle can discuss the mobile part of that program once it is launched. How hard is it to put a truck on a road? A truck that, you know, gets texts or, or gives a text message about its location. How hard is that? I mean, does it, does it take like two years to do that? This shows the incompetence. And it shows why pilot projects are never going to work. If they can't get a truck on the road for two years, how are they going to make it work when it's on the road? That's Jamie Court from Consumer Watchdog. The consumer group has been, well, dogging the state about its recycling efforts. And Court says it's actually worse than it first appears. The state said that the pilot project was operational in July. And after that, then the retailers that were taking back bottles and cans no longer had an obligation to do that. And yet we're six months from July, July 1st, and there's no truck. San Francisco Department of the Environment says it has a partnership with the state that the city is helping to implement. Does San Francisco have a mobile recycling program in operation today? It will be in operation starting January 5th of the new year. I know a lot of people watching this are going to say, I can call 1-800-JUNK and they'll be out at my place in an hour. Why is it taking almost two years? Cal Recycle um, opened up the application period for this in April of 2019. We submitted our application in August of 2019. We worked with them for a while. They approved our applications in 2021. He says there was funding to secure workers to hire and train trucks, equipment, and software to be bought. The way we're doing it has never been done before in California. So it's, you know, we've, we've done our due diligence. It's taken a little time, but we are launching January 5th. We will check back in and see how the rollout goes. But for now, Consumer Watchdog is not convinced that dropping by neighborhoods with a truck is better than having stores take back the containers they sell. The new system is different from how you may have been doing things in the past when recycling. For instance, you no longer can crush the cans. Now, I have a Q&A about the process with Charles Sheehan posted along with this story. It's on our website. Great piece. Thank you, Michael. Sure. Thank you. A big movie premiere is happening right here in San Francisco. But excited.